Hey everyone, um, this is my first time giving a talk anywhere, so I hope you'll like excuse me if I'm a little new to this. So um, as uh, Smita introduced me, I, sorry, Swati, Swati sorry, <laughs> yeah, so um, I am a UX designer working with Hexaware right now, and um, in the past one year when I've started working, I've come across different projects in different domains. And one such project that I've actually learned something really new and that gave me an insight about something that's a little different from what we learn in the college is <coughs> the, the experience that I had when I worked with the healthcare industry. So when I uh, got onto the project, there had already been some initial research done. So what we were doing was we were working with the American healthcare system. And um, what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring a holistic approach into the whole healthcare system that, that included the hospital side as well as the patient side. So we wanted to build a, a one portal where it would be easy for everyone to integrate and help create the whole process of helping the patient heal easier and better. So looking at that, uh, we went ahead and we figured out the main stakeholders that were there in the American healthcare system. And um, we figured out that we had like the main, um, what do you call it, the sp uh, spokesperson from the hospital side, which was the care manager. So that particular user would be the one that would um, be the main point of interaction for anybody uh, from the patient side. And this created a whole new uh, scope for us where we thought of um, focusing all our, uh, like focusing a ma majority of the research into that particular spokesperson which could be our central character in this whole story. So when you look at this uh, diagram, you see that you have your uh, hospital side, that's just some of the user profiles on the hospital side. You have like surgeons, doctors and nurses, but all of them report to the care manager when they are uh, coming together as a team to <coughs> help heal a patient. So that particular team is called a care team. So when you have that care team, the, uh, the, the main person, can, care manager, takes, uh, takes the lead and makes the timetables, makes the schedules for the patients and the doctors. So when you look at this approach, you know that when you uh, trigger the care manager's uh, flow of his tasks and the way he goes about his daily life activities, then you know that you can sort of create an equilibrium uh, on the whole um, system. So going ahead, you have this uh, generic patient flow. So when you look at this patient flow, I'm going to be explaining the different areas, how the care manager, um, uh, what do you call, integrates with the patient. So when the patient uh, like comes to the hospital to um, talk about his ailment, he'll be assigned to a care manager. And this particular care manager is the one that builds a care plan which is um, <coughs> made after the consultation process. So the doctor is the one who consults and he's the one who um, figures out what is wrong with the patient. And after that, when you see that, um, uh, when the care manager understands what actually is happening, he's the one that goes about um, organizing all the diagnostics, all the reports and the recovery stage. So when the care manager uh, figures out what is going on, he plans out the different kinds of uh, tests that go about for the patient. He plans out the different reports and um, x-rays he needs to get done according to what kind of an ailment he has. So in all this, when we went about the research, we figured out, we came to the conclusion that uh, we'd have to follow uh, this flow, all right? So we've sort of uh, broadly um, segregated into three steps the discover phase, the design phase, and the iterate phase. So today I'm gonna to be focusing most on the discover phase because that's where we got the, most of the insights from. So in the discover phase, we did the user journey, the user profiles, competitor analysis, the task flows, focus groups, and the personas. And in the design phase, we've worked on the, uh, the coming up of the product and the affinity mapping, information architecture, paper prototyping, wireframing, and uh, visual designing. And after the iterate, like during the iteration phase, that's when we've gone back to the users and um, talked about it, conducted a couple of focus groups to realize how it could help us. 
And yeah, so moving on to the discover phase. So <clears throat> to broadly classify, we've, like I mentioned before, we've all, we, when I joined the project, we already have had a big chunk of secondary data that we'd already collected. So that uh, included a lot of user journeys. And uh, out of those user journeys, I'd uh, go about realizing what kind of user profiles we had to build and what kind of user ba uh, bases we had to touch to address each and every type of user in the healthcare system. And from that, we've uh, figured out each and every task flow of the different user profiles that we've created. And through those task flows, what we realized was uh, the conclusion that the care manager was the key uh, member. And when we got to the whiteboarding, we initially just sketched out a couple of um, uh, ideas to see how to go about um, integrating each and every task and process of the healthcare system into one particular portal. And uh, while doing that, on the other side, we even had a couple of other companies uh, that were already into the system. And we looked at those. And uh, moving on, we actually had a group of uh, care managers that came together. And we interviewed them. And we conducted a focus group while showing those primitive designs. And we really wanted to take their insight on what they actually wanted out of the task flows. And we basically started off by talking to them about as simple as, what do you do in your day? What are your daily tasks? And moving on to uh, when we figured out that a lot of the secondary research that we'd done was um, relevant, but till the moment that we understood that the care manager gave us the biggest insight that you had to have empathy and um, sympathy to deal with the patient. Because when a care manager connects with a patient on a more uh, personal level, that's when they really understand how easy it is to help them heal. So through the focus group, we realized this. And we realized that this is something that we would missed out in the whole flow. And uh, what I wanted to like, impart uh, to, to all of you guys is that I think when, like, through this uh, process only, we figured out, like, I figured out that the main chunk of the use, UX process lies in the research phase. So when we go through the whole research phase, like to the dot, and we realize that there's a lot of things that we can really understand from the user themselves. Like sometimes, yeah, there are cases where we do overlap, like overlook the users, but that's what we shouldn't do. And mo like when we do connect with the user, we do realize a lot of things that we need uh, to get done. And moving on, the next one is, yeah. So these were the three main things that uh, the care managers showed us. The one was, what they wanted was a unified patient view. And this was something that they wanted to connect with all the patients on a more personal level. And they wanted to, so each care manager cannot, uh, does not have only one patient interaction. They have more than one. So they wanted to connect with more than one patient on a personal level, which they might not uh, get to do on a daily basis. So they wanted a way to do that. And then they wanted some way to um, remotely monitor the patients if they're not able to visit the doctor. Like some of them might be physically challenged and they might not be able to reach the hospital. So they wanted a way to uh, impart that uh, care via remote monitoring. And the last thing was the patient care team collaboration. They realized that a huge chunk of uh, the efficiency was being lost when the care team was not able to interact with the patient side effectively and efficiently. So what we did uh, ahead was we taken all these uh, insights into consideration and we went ahead to build a product called Carrot Cube, and it's still in the uh, uh, it's still being pro uh, like it, it's still in the working phase right now. So with all these insights and what I uh, realized, like I just mentioned, was that the research phase is the major chunk which can actually help you uh, realize what you've been missing out, or be, even before going into the market, that this is what the user actually needs, even though the user might not know what it is through the focus group and through uh, interviews, you can just uh, slowly extract that information through the users. So yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you.
Uh, yeah, you got any questions? How you do your user research throughout the journey? Is there, is there any field study? Sorry? How you do your user research? So the user research in this case, we had the users up front, so we conducted focus groups, and we conducted a series of interviews, and we even had a couple of surveys that were uh, pre sent to them before the focus group. So we had a, a proper series of like uh, activities that were done with the users directly. OK, thanks. So um, yeah, so you're asking with the uh, during the interviews stages. Yeah. So uh, the 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 questionnaire agenda that we had was mainly uh, mainly driven towards the different ta kinds of uh, tasks and um, user bases that we'd identified in the secondary research phase, and after identifying those main key areas, we would slowly started uh, building a basic questionnaire on that term. And after we would get to that basic questionnaire, we would obviously improvise in the interview. So we took that basic talking points and those off to start the interview. So what was the nationality of the users? Sorry? Nationality. American. Uh, the American healthcare system. Okay. Uh, only the American. Yeah, yeah. Have. This was focused towards the American healthcare system. Um, what was uh, the size of the uh, focus groups that you had for this user research? So we had um, the first focus group that we had was around eight people, eight care managers, and then we had uh, different personal interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews later on. Okay, and. Uh, how would you describe like the uh, with that group of uh, uh, fo the, with the focus group that number of people um, the number of problems that you were able to identify within that uh, focus group? Uh, the thing was the focus group came on later, but the initial stages when we went for the interview we figured we went with a more open-mindedness. Uh, so it was just open, and we wanted to learn as much as we can uh, firsthand from them, rather than what we had already learned from the secondary research. So uh, the focus group was more to find out like how those tasks played out on the portal. Any more questions? Uh, what are the challenges which you faced during the research? Any particular challenge that made you uh, go deeper? The first thing was the ethnographic uh, differentiation. Like we are from an Indian healthcare system, which we cannot even comprehend how it happens in the American healthcare system. Right? That's the first thing that we faced. And then there was another thing where. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, like a uh, couple of things like where um, not understanding really how to go about um, like putting down their healthcare. It was mostly during uh, about their healthcare system. Like figuring that out was a big step, and after that, it kind of became easier. The geographical differences made up. Yeah, that was a big effect. Yeah. Okay. What are the empathy which you could relate to the users? Because most of them you met were uh, like patients, right? Yeah. Patients in the health group. What yeah. are the so empathy which you had to solve? One thing that we've realized is that uh, when you do meet a patient, right, the patient is one of those guys that you've got to carefully um, look at the pain points that they have. Because they are more personal to them rather than uh, you having a user for some other application. Because the healthcare system affects them directly to their body and I mean you've got a lot of emotional connection to a healthcare system right so that's one thing so that's where we kind of build that whole empathy bridge between us and the patients okay. and then we got, got this even uh, via the care manager that I mentioned so even they had mentioned about that same care bridge that were the empathy bridge that they were building Good. thanks uh, excuse Any more hello questions? yeah yeah so uh, currently, like most of the systems, the experience of, uh, is actually like first hand. There is always a doctor, either a doctor or a lab technician who's actually like punching in the data or the... Which healthcare system are you talking about? Yeah, uh, generally like uh, whether it's... No, that's the, the thing, right? So when you get into the details and the nitty gritties of the different healthcare systems, yeah. you actually see that they work in different ways. You might assume in one way that you do uh, first hand meet a doctor 
Uh, that does happen. Yes, I agree. That happens in the smaller clinics. And this, okay, sorry, I forgot to mention, like, this is more to do with, like, the bigger hospitals. So right. rather than the smaller clinics. I think what you're mentioning is about the smaller clinics, right? Uh, and uh, when we are actually building interfaces or the experiences for keeping the, the interaction, like, the data, how we show, like, after, uh, to make, for a decision maker, like, let's say he has to, we are building any appointment system or, okay. Like, uh, it could be like uh, heart rate monitoring, like all these things, like metrics which are shown to a doctor. Like, mm -hmm. what are the uh, things we keep in mind when we are designing the interface for them? It depends upon what user you're building for. Because over here, when I showed you the different user bases, each of them requires different uh, diagnostics or different kinds of tasks that they do every day. So you might not need uh, one type of a nurse to have the patient charts. You might not need like the doctor to have the schedule for his patients. Correct. So you got to focus on what the task is and then relate that to the interaction or the, the thing that they get to view, the information that the user views. Thank you.